Okay, I'm going to be taking out this ex this EGR valve. First thing I need to do is take off the sensor before I start messing with this. But instead of moving this hose, I'm gonna see if I could just move this hose and just keep this where it's at. The first thing I need to do is take off this um, sensor. Usually there's a little lock right here, a little red lock that you push out but I kind of broke that. So what I'm going to do after you push this red piece out, you push it out that way, you hit this portion right here, push that down and then this will come out. Just try to jiggle a little bit and it'll come out. There you go. So I got some 10 millimeters, one and two to help move out this sensor. So let me go ahead and do that now. All right, next thing I wanna do is get rid of this clamp right here. Two spots right here, one and two. So I wanna unscrew those so I can move this, this piece out of the way. I got two bolts that I gotta take out, one here and then one down here. So using a 13 millimeter to get this one out. So, you can see that while this has soot in it, I don't know 100% if it's actually clogged or not. I mean, it does have a, some kind of, it really ain't got that much soot in it. But regardless, let's go ahead and take this thing off. That's not that bad. So I already got the, the new one. Now, came across a problem. Both of these look the same, but the problem lies down here with the holes where the bolt's supposed to go through. Let's look at both of them real quick. So you can see this hole, this is the original one I got. This is the new one. The hole is right here, whereas the hole on this one is up here. So I would have to drill a hole down here somewhere in order to get this to actually fit. So what I'm gonna do instead is take this back to the store. And then I decided to go ahead and just unclog this. So first off, I just tried to use a zip tie, but the zip tie just wasn't, you know, it wasn't, strong enough one stiff enough so i actually found this on the ground but this is just a electrical wiring that somebody just put on the ground so i just put it down in here and just shuffled it and then kept shuffling it until i could see the electrical wiring on the inside one of these sides now this side is going to be harder than this side so I'm going to show off this side instead. So this goes in this way. You see the hole. And you can kind of see the, the wiring out there, right? You can see it shining right there. But it's easier for me to just go ahead and push it in a little bit more. Bam, like that. So you can definitely see that the wire is in there. So it's not clogged anymore. And I did that for both sides. So since this is unclogged now, this should, the sensor shouldn't have a problem detecting. The sensor shouldn't have a problem detecting anything, you know, 
shouldn't be clogged anymore since it should work just fine so i'm gonna go ahead and put this one back like i said put that over here get my money back so the best way to do this is put it back on the exact same way i took it off all right so now this here i would have this on but i still got these loose these clamps loose the flange is still up there so i don't have to worry about that i just gotta line this up line back up so I can go ahead and grab the bolts for the flange grab the bolts for the EGR valve put those in I'm not gonna put anything in tight yet instead what I'm gonna do is put all the bolts in and make sure all the bolts fit you know or in other words they uh, all the bolts are positioned correctly. And then I'll go ahead and start tightening things up. That's it, man. Finished cleaning this out, unclogging it. Same thing you would do if you replace it. So that's everything, man. If you want to see any more repairs from me, check a little further on this channel. Let me know something else that can be repaired. And hey, thanks for watching.